arguably the one main thing to take away is is the injuries that were sustained by Roglic, Renko, Jonas going to influence their ability to perform at the tour this year against, namely, Tade Pagacha, who's doing the Giro Tour double. Because okay. Pagacha crashed in Liège last year, and that influenced his tour. And these guys have crashed at a relatively similar time with arguably worse injuries. Oh, definitely worse. Like, yeah. So, he only had a broken wrist. Well, so, only, but like... So is the Giro Tour double happen? I mean, the odds are definitely narrowing. Um, and just how the tables turn here. But I think Virgo is one in particular because it's also that the lung damage as well. I think that's going to be really hard to recover from. I'm no doctor. I have zero medical qualifications. Um, but I can't imagine recovering from... What's the medical name? Pneumothorax is, is particularly easy. Those broken ribs and the broken collarbone will just make it incredibly uncomfortable to be in a bike for a very long time. He's going to miss out on all of that sort of altitude training. He might even miss out on the Dauphiné. We probably won't even see him racing until the Tour de France. That's going to put a lot of question marks around Vingegaard. For Avonapol, I think would, he has fewer injuries to recover from. Avonapol's bounced back from worse. I think he'll be okay in the Tour de France. I don't think he was necessarily the number one contender to win that race anyway, in, in, like, like Vingegaard is. And for Roglic, similarly, this is nothing new for him. He knows how how to recover well. I think he'll be um, he'll he'll be sort of confident in this. I mean, I don't think he's had a major sort of crash related injury in his sort of major Grand Tour career so far. So this is gonna this is gonna be an interesting battle for him in the same way that Bogacha didn't have a major crash until last year, and he had to sort of find his feet again and find a new sort of training pattern to get him ready for the Tour de France. It'll be fascinating to see how these guys build up whilst Poggy goes around Italy. But if we are to believe all the Twitter experts, there's more crashing in professional cycling. And in a wet Giro d'Italia, maybe Poggy is is the next rider to potentially crash. And in that case, are we looking at a David go do to the France victory? I mean... <laughs> No, Sasha Blossom. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Sasha Blossom's <laughs> looking at a million dollars right now, or a million rubles, which probably doesn't translate to many dollars. Um, he's looking at a million rubles right now, so yeah, Sasha Blossom, 100%, my bad, apologies. Uh, Adam Gatchin did put a tweet up uh, following that crash, but yeah, I mean, UAE, obviously they're not happy about anyone crashing, but yeah, suddenly the press the prospect of that Giro Tour. But at the same time, they also lost Jay Vine um, in that crash oh, with yeah. really, really nasty um, uh, really nasty injuries. I think he's got vertebrae, vertebrae issues. Yeah. Oh, he was second in that yeah. opening time trial in Basque Country as well. So he's a, he was in good form and he was supposed to go to the Giro with Pogaccia. So. Friend of the Echelon Cycling Podcast as well. Yeah. Ah, yes. Nice guy as well. Nice guy. A very nice guy. I wonder who they'll send to the Giro instead. I've, they've got lots of people. Del Toro. Send Del Toro yeah, to the Giro. For real. They've, for real. They've been sending him to so many Grand Tour, well, so sorry, so many World Tour level races this year so far. He has the confidence of the team. He's finished in top 10 at every single World Tour stage race he's done. He's done three. He is the real deal. I'd quite like to see him there. It's almost starting to be like a bit like the 2012, this this uh, kind of Giro Tour quest or whatever for Bogaccia. It's almost like Bradley Wiggins with uh, him trying to win the Tour de France where everything just lined up. The course was perfect. Uh, Contador was out on his doping suspension. Schlecht was nothing near what he used to be. Uh, and it's looking like the stars are aligning for Bogaccia right now. Is Pikachu like the only main threat for Liège now? <laughs> is that yeah. just like is that a walkover? Now? No, much of Annapol's there. I mean, not a lot of do when Poggy lights it up. I don't think so. But, but you know, we can live. We can live in dream. We can live in dream. But but, but yeah, okay. Anyway, with uh, Jonas Vingor sustaining the lung injury, the uh, I mean. The broken ribs, the collarbone, all of this, all of this is, like you and said, going to take a long time to heal up. What does he do with his 2024 
uh, season. I mean, we did a video like this about Wild Bernard. I didn't think we were going to do another one for the rest of this year, but here we are. Yeah, it's it it does probably require a major sort of think and existential redraw of the plan. Uh, the Crichton Dauphiné in just two months' time, I think, is probably going to be off the table, um, given that he'll have to recover from, from these injuries. And he, even the Tour de France preparation in itself could be up um, in question. He'll be sort of not happy to see that Wout van Aert has a better chance of going to the Tour de France, but if Wout will be at, at the Tour de France, that will certainly uh, be useful for a recovering um, Jonas Vingegaard. But, I mean... We don't know how long it is going to take. That is the the, the big thing in question. If, if anybody has any insights of how long it does take for for people to recover from, from these kind of injuries, then do let us know in the comment section down below. If you can't go to the Tour, then I'm sh- I may be able to go to the Vuelta. In which case, should he just be off the Tour? Nah. Why not? Send Sepp Kuss. Like, why send a engine when he wants to to the Tour? Sepp's not winning. He's not been allowed into the yeah, breakaway yeah. to get a soft Grand Tour victory. But, but Scott, Scott, how, like, what do you mean by, by just, like, canning off the Tour de France? Like, if, 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 if he doesn't have anything else planned, planned for July, why not just make him go? Because what if he finishes 18th instead of winning it? And I just don't, don't want to see you honest and not at his top form and kind of... I think it's the defending champ. He almost... It's not like an obligation. Well, say that to Bradley Wiggins in 2013. Wiggins was an enigma. He just he he, he didn't follow the rules. Oh. Jonas is Jonas is a a caring, just you know, <laughs> a, a obliging person. He he will want to be at the tour. Yeah. I don't see a world where Jonas doesn't where, where where Jonas doesn't go to the tour, even if he isn't in in great form. The whole I, I don't know. I, I think that he will. You kind of just have to put him there and just see what happens. Even if he's in an absolute just not fit state and he's still in like a hospital bed, then no, he can't. But if he's able to do a, a decent amount of training, I think you just kind of have to really just then a forty percent hail mary goal. Yeah, just hope he gets up to like eighty percent by the end. I would skip the tour and go to the welter. Win that. Then- but then this could be a training road for the Belter. Ah, okay. Yeah, it could be. Where else are they going to go? The Tour of Austria? <laughs> oh, my word, imagine. It's not out of the question that Jonas could definitely do like a, a tall Vuelta double, I think. Well, I don't know. I, I say that. It depends how he recovers from this. It's going to be a complete, like, if he doesn't go to a doping, we are just going to have absolutely zilch idea until he rocks up. And even if he doesn't do well in the first week, that doesn't mean that when we get later on into the race, that that he won't be firing on all cylinders. But what about the like mental aspect as well, like crashing like that? He has a family as well now, so it's. Yeah. It can I, take as solace. you and said before, this is his first big crash. He can take solace in the fact that Remco and Robert also crashed, so at least he's not starting from like a lower point. And Poggy's coming off of a Giro, so maybe he's like not on a hundred percent. That's the and see anything he could take Solson. And, and similarly, Pogacar crashed and recovered in time. Yes, to finish second in, in the Tour de France, but he gave gave it a good go. But that was a race. That wasn't like a long ribbed. Yes, collarbone. I know, I know, I know. Like, like, like the lungs is like you know, yeah. no lungs. You need them. Um. I mean, you need a wrist as well. He might not also have have sort of past experiences to sort of get him down as well. He might have that sort of naivety of this being his first, um, his first injury. So he has the ability to sort of like, oh, whatever, I'll see what happens, see what comes my way, instead of feeling a little bit futile. But at the same time as well, he doesn't know what works for him when recovering from a broken collarbone, which is a common injury for cyclists or to for, for recovering from from lung injuries or or, or whatever. But I'm sure. Visma Lisa like have the doctors on hand to help. They are one of the tip top teams in the world, probably the most tip top team in the world, and they will have all the resources and support for him to come back in fighting form for the Tour de France. And if not, I mean a Bolter Espanol victory should be in the bag. Poggy's not going there. You could say because we we were all going into maybe the tour this year thinking, oh, you know, 
Poggy being the main competitor to Jonas, but doing the Giro, oh, that's going to sort of scupper his chances. But in a rather sadistic way, and please, pay this the right way, but Jonas crashing might give us a more entertaining Tour de France because Poggy's going to be not perfect after the Giro and this slightly turmoiled preparation that Jonas is going to have for the tour could mean that we actually have a relatively close tour de France because none of their preparations is going to be absolutely ideal rather than it being Jonas is just going to drop everyone and just walk off the victory we could actually end up with a more entertaining tour which as fans is going to be great but obviously that has come rather sadly at the at the uh, expense of other people's injuries yeah and also in the first week of this year's Tour de France, there's a lot of climbing. So if he's not quite there yet in that first week, it could be a downfall for him. But to his advantage, if he does sort of ride into form like he has done in the past couple of Tour de France's anyway, there are some crucial stages in stages 18 and 19 where he could really make make the difference um, ahead of that final time trial. So I do have have some belief it's going to take a lot of, of soul-searching for him to, to get back to this level. But I believe he will still be in contention for the Tour de France. And if he's nowhere near that form, I actually don't think he, they'll send him. I don't think they'll take the risk. Exactly. That's what I said. And now you no, but, no, 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 no. No, but, like, if he is ready, like, like no, uh, in terms of, like, they shouldn't wipe it off his schedule now. That's what I'm thinking. They oh, shouldn't right. sort of okay. take, like, accept it, like, okay, boom, Tour de France is gone. You know, they should still try to work towards that point. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. He does other things, you know? He's not the first reigning champion to miss out on, on retaining his Tour de France trophy. Are you not a bit nervous uh, with some of the crashes we've seen, like Remco Venepo in Lombardia, Egon Bernal with the bus, Froome as well? It takes a long time before they get back, and sometimes they might never get back to where they were. Mm. I mean, Lugacha wasn't, yeah, it was a risk. It wasn't this kind of level. Yeah, it, it does. It does make me make me worry. Um, he's also at this kind of critical point in his career where he's reaching his physical peak, and if he's sort of using this time to sort of recuperate from a crash, we might have seen the best of Vago in the rearview mirror. But um, it, it it might take much longer than the what six months? No, not even six months. How long is it to the Tour de France? Three months. Um, it. It might take two years. It might take a whole season for him, for him to bounce back. But this is Jonas Vingegaard. You know, he's got the, those insane statistics. Um, that VO2 max, all this power output, yada, 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 that people love to sort of, uh, people love to, to share. So I think, I think he will, will return to the tip top level. 